new video on PSAT MATLAB and this is this episode is basically focused on a simple uh, load flow studies okay so uh, you have been already uh, study uh, the load flow techniques okay and uh, different uh, approaches on load flow uh, for example gas shuttle method neutral absorption method and they are done analytically uh, in your uh, paper or your exercise book but here we are going to do it computationally using a computer and using a basically software called PSAT okay in MATLAB so basically MATLAB PSAT uses the numerical algorithm technique of Newton Rapson for solving the load flow uh, problems okay so basically here we'll uh, do a small model of a three bus network and do a small modeling and um obtain the uh, the load flow data and analyze it okay so let's start doing it okay then first we open the pset here this is the pset and before opening the pset we have to open the library oh, we have opened the library here this library this is the library uh, yes, this is the library, and you're gonna need a symbolic model file. New symbolic, new symbolic model file, and here is our new symbolic model file. Okay, so I have already done a, a simple model, and I just want to copy that model and just paste it here okay okay this is my model and this is quite simple model okay I have a slack bus here and uh, slack bus of power of base MBA or the capacity of this slack bus is 100 and 11 KB okay so I'm going to write 800 MBA 11 KB 100 11 KB okay this is 100 MB 11 KB this is 11 to 132 of 100 MB capacity 60 hours frequency okay so I'm just gonna write here 11 to 132 KB right. then this is a line of about 15 kilometers and of 15 kilometer line this is 15k similarly this line is 10 km long I'm gonna write it 10 km long 10k okay and this is possible then after this this is 132 to 11 132 to 11 132 slash 11 kv sorry just kv after I have a PQ bus of active and reactive powers of 0 0.3, you can calculate manually. Okay, taking the base MB of 100 MB, you can calculate the active and reactive power. Uh, and, okay, you can uh, do simple math. Okay, if you have the power rating of 40 and KV of 11, then your and your reactive and reactive power will be the percentage value of this MB. Okay, but you are gonna need on the basis of 100 MB base. Okay, you will manually set the base at here. Okay, you have set to set the base frequency 16. If you use 50 hours in all of the components, then you have to use 50 hours here. Here we have used the 100 MB base. So all the PU are calculated on this base. Okay, so this can, okay, I'm sorry, this is 40 MB. 0 0.3 0 0.2 PU. 0.3 0.2 PU. Okay, active and reactive power. Similarly, this is 132 to 11. 132 to 11 KV. 132 to 11 KV. So, KV. And finally, PQ bus is 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 
0.2 okay we have done all of this okay and now we're gonna save this file as uh, save as uh, okay I'm just saving it as simple load okay simple load as we always have to save in dot mdl okay always in dot mdl simple load now we have saved it now we are going to load it on our pc this is pc okay now let's load here double click at the data file and when the pop up you have to select the folder where you have saved the pc file and this is the pc okay i select the folder and always go to here mdl file and this is our simple load we can load it and start loading loading yes completed now we are we have to do power flow and just to do a power flow the iteration has been converged after the conversion we obtain the report here the static report okay got the static report here is our report of the bus flow. okay now we have to uh, see what's happened now yes then here this is the bus one bus two bus three bus four bus five bus six there is the voltage on the buses this gives the voltage on the bus if you want to uh, uh, observe the uh, bar diagram then you can observe this back and by clicking here okay this is a bar this is the um, angle of the buses this is the active power on the buses this is your active power of the process and you can obtain all of this data okay okay this is all for the today thank you for watching you can uh, feedback you can do some feedback on comments thanks for watching for today wait for my next video thank you